If you want to make Quake, Half-Life, CS 1.6, hell even PlayStation style levels, Trench Broom should be a part of your tool belt. Begin on GodotEngine.org, select to download, and then select the .NET version. With the .NET version of Godot open, create a new project. I'll be calling it Trench Broom Tutorial. And then select the project path. Then select create and edit. In the new project, we're gonna create a new 3D scene. Rename it world. And then save the scene as world.tscm. Next, we're gonna to go to the asset library and type in Kado with a Q and download Kado 4. Next, go to trenchbroom.github.io, click on download, then download the proper version. I'm gonna be using Win64, the 2023.1 release. Unzip the trench broom zip you just downloaded, and then extract it to an easy to access location. We'll be using this in a minute. Now with Kado installed in the hierarchy, go to add-ons, Kado, game definitions, then select trench broom game config. You'll have to double click this, and then in the inspector, for the trench broom games folder, select the games folder in your trench broom installation. Then click export file. Next, open up Trench Broom, click new map. And when you scroll down, Kado should be on your game list. Click open preferences, select Kado, select the three dots, and set the path to your Kado games project folder. Back in Kado, create a folder called textures. This is the folder we specified that Trench Broom will use for the asset. Now head to itch.io, go to Browse, Assets, and type in PSX. I'm going to be using the Tiny Texture Pack 1. Open up the zip file with your extractor of choice, and then extract them to the Textures folder. Back in Trench Broom, exit out of Preferences, and then select your game. The Selection tool will be automatically selected. Select the main island. You can move it further away from the camera with the up arrow, closer with the down arrow, to the left of the camera with the left arrow, and to the right of the camera with the right arrow. You can move it up and down with page up and page down. You can duplicate your selection with control D, and you can delete it with the delete key. Three more useful tools are the vertex, edge, and face tool. This allows you to edit a single vertex, either a whole edge, or an entire face. To apply textures, click on face, and then we can select which textures we want. We're gonna select bricks, grass, and roofs. Now they'll all be added in here, and now you can change the texture of either the whole object, or by shift clicking, you can change the texture of a specific face. Now I'll make a small example level, just so we have something to import into Godot. Once you've got your map created, click File, Export, Map, and save it in your Godot Projects folder. I'm going to create a new folder and name it Maps, and save it in there. Back in Godot, click Project, Tools, C Sharp, Create C Sharp Solution, click Build, then go to Project Settings. Plugins and enable the Kado plugin. Now click the plus arrow, type in Kado map, and then in the inspector for the map file, 
select the map we just created. Now click full build. And now you've got your map imported into the engine. All links and assets are in the description. And now that you've got a proper workflow for creating quake style levels in Godot, I'd love to see your creations in the comments below. Share the video with your friends if you think they'd find it useful. Damn, so this shit's loud.